we're talking about when we talk about the oval is 360 degrees of interactive content. You can look in any direction and in that way you can see old data from the inside. What the oval platform does is that it provides that immersive environment where um, the students can you know, look around, um, they can see details in their models, but you know, most importantly, they understand spatially what is actually going to be the impact. If you look at the hemoglobin molecule on a computer, it's not really uh, easily graspable. I mean, because oxygen is really hidden inside and the iron molecule is also hidden deep inside. So when you look at it through a VR, you can really dive into the iron molecule and oxygen molecule and realize where they are located at. So using the VR really helps the students understand what's happening to oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. It's just amazing using the oval software for my classes because there's a difference between seeing these words written on a page and then seeing the objects they're talking about right in front of you there that you can interact with and look at and move around in real life. With the regular way that we look at manuscripts, we look at them on the screen, we're separated from them, we inhabit a different space, and we move them around with a mouse. Suddenly, if I can move into a space, inhabit that space with the manuscript, I can move within its cockled pages and experience them with a grandeur that the manuscripts actually command when you're in their presence. Today, you can upload your 3D model or asset or data set to the library website, walk into the edge with your co-researcher or student or classmate, and you can fly through that data set and then export screenshots used for publication or presentation down the line.